And you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Does this go through? No, it does not. How's it going, boys? Today we are playing a ball of Citadel Liliana Aetherflux Reservoir combo. The easiest type of ball of Citadel combo with Aetherflux Reservoir, obviously. But Liliana does add a very, very splendid taste to the mix. So, this is the deck. We're gonna gain a lot of life and then we're gonna nuke someone. It's gonna be glorious, trust me, I'm a scientist. We have a little bit of removable. Four Erebosis, four Heartless Acts, four Bindings of the Old Gods, Binding of the Old Gods against Enchantments, Artifacts and Planeswalkers, everything else just creatures. Now, I am currently under the specific situation that I have, for weeks, not encountered mass red decks. Uh, but I am aware that some people keep encountering a lot of red decks. So if you're encountering red decks, I would suggest adding, adding two or three Shadows Verdicts and just removing one Aether Flux, one Bolas, or one Liliana, uh, depending on how you want to do this. Because against red decks, surviving long enough is the win condition, despite what's your real win condition. So yeah, then we have a little bit of ramp, because Bolas Citadel decks do not like lands. Then we, uh, because of that, we have Explores into the Norths, and, well, Binding of the Old God honestly does the same thing. And considering we have a bunch of black lands, we have Cabal Stronghold. And this is one of those rare times when we're using Triome because it counts as a swamp, even though we uh, have no third color. Not here, not in the sideboard, and nowhere. And, guys, blessings. Just to reset the deck, because, well, you know, playing your whole deck is kind of meaningless if you can't reset it. And then you die against Mill. Obviously, guys, Blessing completely negates that part of life. So, bonus points. Also, when you use Lilian's plus one and you ditch guys, Blessing, it instantaneously shuffles the deck. So, as you can see, it's a pretty tame, reasonable deck. Oh, yeah, and four sign and blood. It's a two-cost draw spell, very good for the early game. And two black is not a steep cost, considering, well, most of our lands are exactly black. So... It's a, it's a fun deck, it's a nice deck, everything with Eater Flux Reservoir, Lilian and Ball Citadel is uh, fun in my opinion. And we're gonna be doing a little bit later a version of this, but it's gonna have white. And it's not gonna rely uh, on Eater Flux Reservoir, but it's gonna be a fun one, trust me boys on that one. So yeah, without any further ado, like the video. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Liking the video again, as I state millions of times, is very important to the YouTube ecosphere. If you do not like the video, I get brutally beaten by Susan Wojcicki herself. Oh yes, we have that type of relationship. And it's not kinky in a good way. It is actually quite depressing and demoralizing. So you better like that, uh, like that video, or else... I'm gonna suffer. Obviously, that will incentivize some people, my deepest and uh, most dearest fans, not like the video, but that's okay, because other people fear for my life. That's great. So, with that said, without any further ado, boys, let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? And an opponent has been found, pretty fast, by the way, kinda, kinda sus. And in recent days, well, pretty much like a week or two at the moment, we have had decent win streaks. And this is a decent hand, unless we get bricked on lands, and this is not an aggro deck. Well, let's hope it's an aggro deck. We go first, don't know what's that, what that was about, he mulliganed. Also, by the way, I think I'm never gonna mulligan in this game ever again. Uh, because of the simple fact that I tried mulliganing, like, a couple of times while making this video. Literally, every time I mulliganed, I, I, I essentially got the same hand. I literally got the same hand. And, looks like this- Oh, my sweet summer child. You're telling me! You're- Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lie, boys. In recent times, I'm honestly thinking that Wizards is trying is trying to 100% bribe me uh, with giving me extremely good things. Like, I'm essentially playing a 100% counter deck to him. Look at this. I can exile everything this peasant holds near and dear to his heart. This is gonna be amazing. 
This matchup is 100 trillion percent in my favor. It's not just a million percent in my favor. What? Well, Viscoozy? Uh, are you sh well, 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 okay, maybe, okay, maybe it's just a bad player, but, you know, who knows, who knows. Anyway, that's literally Professor Nixman, ahoy. Ah, oh, good times, boys, good times. Attack me, see what happens, you know what happens? This happens, ka -ching. I even get one life, it's amazing. Dude, Anibos' invitation, this is why I put it. It's actually kind of iffy against uh, aggro decks in a lot of cases, by the way, may, uh, may I mind. Uh, but, it's... Dude, how do I actually do this? Well, I'm gonna definitely do this. And... Hmm... That's gonna be 4 damage, that's a lot of annoying damage. Could I have tapped that and it would have been better? Uh, no mad material. No, wait, I'm a scientist. So, sign and blood honestly seems like the right choice here. That's gonna reset our deck, and I don't know how I'm supposed to exile his deck at the moment. I want to protect my uh, Professor Nyx because, well, obviously I, I, I do. I definitely do. And he's gonna be annoying, but I know that he has uh, no direct damage, and yeah, that's cute and whatnot, but at the end of the day, do you think cute's gonna cut it, my, my, my dude? Do you think cute is just gonna literally cut it? No. No, it will not. Sign and blood into the north. Uh, can I actually do this for a lot of mana? I have no idea how much did that actually give me. Swamp. Basic swamp. Oh, right, that's not a basic swamp. I always forget that, but it's fine. Could use, by the way, the, uh, by the way, the snowy lands, but this has a cycling, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. How do I want to play this? I definitely want to cast in, in, into the north, because it's just, uh, flat out better. Gonna deal some damage to him. Do do what else? What else do I want to do? How much cards does he have? One, two, three. Uh, it's kind of if and then I need to stop this because reasons, obviously. But it is kind of a little bit iffy. I would like to say the fact that you know there is a chance he flips this, but even if he flips it, who cares? <laughs> like the point is, imagine he flips this. Imagine he flips the gate to the afterlife, which is, by the way, completely a possibility because he has four mana. Uh, but the thing is, I can just, you know, completely exile 100% of his graveyard, even if he tries something so egregious. So technically, do I care? Probably no. Probably no. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's get... Uh, Another triome, I guess. It doesn't really matter too much at this point, but hey. Options. Oh, look at that, the Balas Citadel. Okay. Casting the Balas Citadel would seem like a the smart choice. The good choice. But, you see, the thing is, how many cards does he have? Eight. So I need to cast this for four, which... Nope, nope, nope. Wrong number. Okay, I'm gonna cast this for four. Because I want to exile literally everything this poor, 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 poor chump has. Yeah, c'est la vie, my dude. C'est la vie. Yeah, it didn't feel good now, did it, my dude? <laughs> Man, every time that just happens, you know, that's the single tear is being dropped somewhere. And it is amazing. Well, Lilian is kind of off the table, but at the same time, does it matter? No, no. What the hell is this? Uh, Fiendish Servant, I guess that's cools. So, yeah, I'm gonna just do this. How much am I getting now? Five. Okay, five is a nice number. So, I'm gonna do this. Watch. Another Professor Liliana, because reasons, obviously. Uh, do the plus one, because I just can. Ooh, an Aetherflux Reservoir, do you say? Well, I ain't that cheeky. Whoa, that's, that's sneaky, even, at this point. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop a bunch of them, because that's a lot of life right there, boys. Okay, that land is not, is not, is not exactly what I was looking for, but at the same time... Dead. Dead. Did anyone think I'm gonna lose this? Like... 
It's a gate of the afterlife deck and, well, look at me. I got Erebos' invitations. It's not like, uh, it's not like I'm struggling, you know, at all, essentially. So do this, gain a little bit of life. It's all good in the hood when you gain a little bit of that sweet, sweet juice. He is healing, though. I could technically, I think, mill him. Well, yeah, I could technically, obviously, mill him if I tried really, really hard. But is there a point in that? I would say probably no. Ooh, fourth one. Okay, that, that, okay. At this point, this is just unnecessary brutality. Not gonna lie, boys. At this point, it is just literally unnecessary brutality. And you can cast this, it casts for zero, because that's how those cards work. It's completely fine, by the way. Okay, ooh, another one. Wait, why can't- Oh, because I had stuff. Ah, yes, classic stuff. How much HP can I gain? You know, usually we don't gain this much HP, but I think this is like- Yeah, it seems balanced. Four reservoirs, very much balanced. Should have honestly waited, but uh, wh wh why wait when good things can happen instantaneously, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna... At this point, by the way, we're kind of like Liliana kill. Oh, you did... Dude, did, did you just snore icon me? Excuse me, but I'm like popping off. How dare you? Well, at least he's letting it happen to a degree. Kind of lucky on that one. Okay, is is this the end of our shenanigans? Well, not the, not exactly, not exactly, because cycling is a magical thing. <laughs> ah yes, and cast this because well, again we just can. Last swamp. Okay, now I think we're uh, we're though out of options. Okay. I think we have proven a point that we are a lot more superior than him. I, I think we I think we did a good job proving a point. And that point was that he had no chance for Alea's dance, not gonna lie. And another opponent <gasps> Fake Lilian. Dude, this thing looks so good in the arts and promos and everything. But in real oh god, it's so bad. Man, it's like, it's like every artist that Wizards employs is currently completely incapable. Like, I can draw basic stick figures, but even I would do a better Liliana than this. I would at least do it iconic. You know, big tits essentially, and that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> so yeah. Wizards, hire me. I, I am the artist you're looking for. I understand the magic community. Big Liliana... B B Big Bazinga Liliana. That's what we want. And let's be honest. It's true. This time it's even true. Truer words have not ever been said, by the way. Not going first. Questionable hand. Technically, I like the explorer into the north, but we don't have any greeny boys. So, I'm gonna keep it anyway. Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. Um, well, at least this gives us a start like this. Ubu Ava, as they say. Is this gonna be an angel's deck, or is this gonna be... Oh. Oh. Uh, well, now. That changes things. That definitely changes perspectives. <clears throat> that needs to die first, essentially. So, the good part is, I am a deck that's gonna get a bunch of LP life points, Yu-Gi-Oh slang. You wouldn't understand it. It's a, it's because Yu-Gi-Oh is not a children's card game. It is THE children's card game. So, yeah. Uh, magic boomers, no, not gonna understand it. By the way, someone, so, someone got offended yesterday when I said that, uh, someone no, uh, born in the 80, 80, 55. 80, 19, 1980? Uh, yeah, 1985 was a boomer. Someone got legitimately offended by that, which is, by the way, extremely hilarious. So, good good job. Uh, okay, this guy currently is doing nothing. God, I really honestly want to make that live game deck that I was, uh, that I was mentioning at the very, very start. No, oh, I, I, I guess I just win then. Easy. So about that live game deck that we want to make. It's going to be black, green, and white. 
Okay, one of the best colored combinations in the game. And it's gonna have a bunch of ways to win through a solid life gain. And nothing but... Watch this mulligan. Oh, look at that. It's literally as garbage as it was. Well, technically this could work to a degree, but this 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 does not look fine. Hey, but this is... Oh, oh, I, I, th I think... I think Wizards is trying to say it's over, dude. You... you 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 played magic and now it's elves again elves still not banned from the game for some ominous reason why no one knows because everyone hates elves are they banned well no why well i honestly don't know like it, it should be the most obvious and simple thing in the world just to ban elves and goblins because everyone hates it and no one's having fun with it. But but Wizards is like, hmm, this is a clear problem, and we're, uh, our, our solution is to do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it's not exactly great. Okay, I believe we're gonna lose because, yeah, look at elves, it's just like everything they play costs one to play, and well, you know, even though we technically are uh, removing decently, there's no way to win against an elf deck if you're not AoEing. Like, he is getting... Yeah, it, it, see see this? Everything, every card that elves play just does crap like this. It is completely inviable. And, well, we didn't get anything. Admittedly, though, uh, some of you may say, well, this is why you need rats in your deck. Well, you you see, if you if a rat is not instant, you 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 have no guarantee to win against elves or goblins. Rats need to be instant, and then you can win against elves or goblins, because those decks win instantaneously or too too early to cast rats. So it doesn't matter. You see, you see the problem there. Yeah, this was sad. Over the opponent. Probably not. May 08. Ugh, that's like a 12-year-old. Or 13-year-old. Yeah. This is pretty decent. If, well, we go first. And, well, if we get a fourth land, this is fine. If And if he's if he has a really bad hand, this is even better. Oh, look at that. It's a rogue deck. Ha. 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 The only good part about that was the simple fact that maybe... Oh, we did it. Mamma mia. That's great. That's actually like really lucky. Because the Triome is the best land to draw in that situation. Okay, so. What am I supposed to do with this? Nothing. You can't even counterspell me, my dude. Plus I kind of have like a really, really strong combo here. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Dude, rogue decks. Disgusting. Yeah. A, a, not, well, well, uh, v, v, excuse me there, Chief, but that's like a super bad card. I just want you to understand that, that I find that like a really, really pitiful. J j just so you know. Okay, well, anyway, the cat's on purple, so I guess this is all part of the course. Another one! Dude, did you not learn from the first time that that's like super sad that you even have that in your deck? It's like, are you are you trying to win uh, uh win a win something for having the worst type of? Oh my god, this is gonna be great. Watch this. We're popping off, boys. Ah, uh, technically still popping off, boys. Oh, guys, blessing. Definitely popping off, boys. So what do we want to put back in there? Uh, probably this and this, because it's just value Kadalu town. Oh, wait, did we just get it? Oh my god, the pop-off is real. Wow. This, this is not even a game, this is just sheer destruction. Oh wow, 50 HP just- Oh, let me just cast another one, boys. And there's a land. Oh, that was just- Perfect! Jesus Christ, Dominance. Okay, that game was beyond lucky, not gonna lie. Uh, we... he... the first thing he milled was a guy's blessing, so... his... Uh, uh, his, his composure was already cracked. And then we just, you know, did the stuff, and he, and he dropped two useless creatures. Man, why do you even put those creatures in the deck? It seems like so bad.
Hmm. Hiderflux Reservoir. Interesting. Simon Chokyu. Well, what a name. What a name, Simon. Okay. Uh, Simon. I'm gonna beat your meat. In, uh, good way? In a, no, in a, in a bad... I'm not, I'm not sure I'm beating it anyway. Uh, that was a very slow start, and I actually have a decent start. We didn't get a land with this, sadly, but into the north. Prospect. Also, we got the Citadel plus Eater hub combo, so, you know, there we kind of go. Do I want... Yeah, I want black, definitely. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Uh, one more land, I can drop an Eater Flux Reservoir. One more land, and I can drop another Eater Flux Reservoir. And this is a sign in blood, which is kind of cute. Kind of cute indeed. Um, cute, but I need two lands, thank you very much. Ah, yes, exactly the thing I did not want to see. Very well played, Wizards. Muchos playos. 14 uh, draws, 3 lands. I feel fulfilled. <laughs> I feel fulfilled. Okay, it's fine. This this is fine. And our, our opponent is playing stuff, you know, he's, he's drawing things. He's like having a good time. Singing, dancing, frolicking in the wastes and whatnot. Pretending that his life is not miserable because he just... For some... Uh, Arbitrary reason chose, uh, 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 J. Salvatar. Yep, that's how much I know about this game. But I do know that people who pick the J. Salvatar are pretty, like, you know, not, 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 not the people who you usually want to tolerate. Let's just say it like it is. Okay, drop this, and next turn, it's gonna be the Citadel. Citadel. Wait a minute, wait, is that even illegal? I'm s- Wait, what? Oh! Wait, can I kill the guy? Um... How am I supposed to do this now? Wait. How am I supposed to- Oh, I can mill him, technically. Hey, wait, 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 relax there, chief, relax. That was not part of the plan. Nine lives. Hmm. I would say that this is maybe bad, but at the, uh, 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 on the other hand, I will literally just sign in blood until you concede. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna just sign in blood constantly now. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, there's nothing stopping me from this. Idealistic tutor, please. Um, yeah. Oh, Dawn of Hope. Oh, I know what you are. You're annoying. Okay, well, annoying or not. Uh, do I want to drop a Liliana? Yeah, if he has something, I think he's gonna use that's... Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Hmm. If I think about it. How does this work? Um, so this is my question at this point, right? Yeah, it does go through. I was, uh, this was my question. Does Liliana go through? I thought it does, and it does. That's right. This is great. Yeah, I don't even have to, like, uh, I, I don't even have to do that. I can just blood myself and still destroy you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's that. That's a nice combo you have there. The only problem is I bypass it like it's absolutely nothing. So a great on you, chief. <laughs> Look at this dude. Nine lives the combo. I'm gonna do stuff. It's called. Oh my god, dude. I thought. Ah. Uh, Man, this guy does not feel good about himself. Let me tell you that right now. This person, most likely, not exactly ecstatic about life choices, about things that are happening, and boops and bibbles. Let me tell you that right now. I don't think this guy is really happy about all of this. 
This is great. Look at this. <laughs> Nine lives. I countered it on accident. What a time to be alive. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you're a J Salvatar. You, 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 you get... Well, you, you get put in your place. Let's just put it like that. Oh, yeah, this is putting a smile on my face. Nine lives, pretty much in the starting hand, almost. Not quite, but you know, close. Close. <gasps> Wait, did you just allow me to draw cards? Oh, uh, well, thank you there, Chief. I kind of appreciate that, I guess. Another one. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to make a difference. And another Dawn of Hope. Yeah, I'm sure that's... Wait, can I just actually... Okay, so I have no idea does it work like that or not, but, I, you know, I, I could technically just Ether Flux Reservoir him. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Does this go through? No, it does not. Well, that's a learning experience, to say the least. Wait a minute! Oh, no, I can still easily do it. Ah, this is absolutely fine. Because watch this. Yeah, that's all the man I needed. Yeah, that, that, that's literally all the man I needed. Yeah. 5 HP? Oh, that, 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 that's so sad, my dude. That is so sad. Absolute sadness. Uh, let's cycle this because I want to cast a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, actually, that does nothing. Uh, well, it's, it's absolutely fine. Erebos' invitation? Okay, fine, I'll take it. Ooh, a guy's blessing. Don't mind me if I do to you. Let's see. Let's put back explore. Let's put in sign and blood. Let's put also that back right uh, right there. Oh man, I almost feel bad for this guy, but then I remember he's a J Salvatar, and you know it doesn't matter. Yeah, I will allow him to draw cards. I thought at first that I'm gonna have to sign and blood him, uh, infinity with Guy's Blessing, but turns out I didn't even have to do that. 10 out of 10. You know, I would not be mad if this was another 9, uh, 9, li uh, nine lives combo. That would be pretty swell. Uh, decent opening hand. Got some draw, got some removal, got a way to ramp into four lands, but our opponent goes first, which I find, by the way, completely unfair. Any game where my opponent gets to go, go, go first is just flat out unfair. J just want to point that one out. If I'm not going first, I'm not happy about life. The hell? Stitches suppliers. Well, haven't we already seen this type of... Wait a minute. That's a kitty cat. Uh-oh. Um, let's see... Food deck? Well, I can enter both without problems on average, I guess. Wait, what? Did he just creeping chill me? Yes, he did. Um... Cat... Dude, don't just cat oven me like that, you little shit. Dude, not cools. Not coolio. Well... Yeah... Oh god, he actually got that back even? Um, I think I'm gonna lose, not gonna lie. Currently this is going a very swell for this person. If you gain three or more life. Wait, how did he even get three or more life? Yeah, he just, he just yeah, got three or more life. It doesn't make sense. Wait, how did he, seriously, how did he actually do that? Uh, Viscuzzi, where did he get 3 life? What did he do? Dude, he did nothing and he got 3 Oh my god, okay. I, I get, yeah, this is, this is pretty good, not gonna lie. Yeah, this seems, this, this seems on point. Wait a minute, he just did stupid stuff. Huh. Wait, is there, uh, I promise, I promise that's not for me. That is not for me. Relax, boys. Relax. Okay, I can kind of do this. And next turn I can do... What can I even do? Dude. Man, this guy just kind of hit it to win it. Not gonna lie. Well, now he gets that thing back. Oh, look at that. It's a kitty cat. At the beginning of your end step. I don't like that. Muchos naughty likeos. Okay, let's see. 
Um, I can technically survive the next turn no matter what, right? I can do this. If I get the ball of Citadel out, does that even change anything? I don't think it does. That's cute, I guess, but, you know, again, not the game changer. Um, I will survive, because he's not playing the cat thing, which is fine. Okay, the blood artist. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I should be dead, literally, here. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, actually dead. Yeah, I should be... Yeah, I think I'm dead. Two, four, four, two, yeah, exactly on curve, I think. Four, attacks, four, two, oh, he just dropped. Dude, this guy, just a lot of luck. Yeah, this guy, just, just a lot of luck. Now he just sags the cat and it's over. Yeah, he got the oven, he got the cat, and then he got two artists. Artists. That's a lot of luck. Well, you can't win them all. Mostly because 50% win ratio is still in effect. And Wizards tries their utmost hardest to make you force you to lose a couple of games. Ah, oh, what, 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 what a great thing to do, Wizards. What a great thing. I'm sure that's why you're, you're a company that's not a complete goddamn failure. Not pointing to Magic Legends or everyone saying that you're a bad company or anything. But you are. Anyway, that's the deck. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Sometimes you can just uh, pop off like there's no tomorrow with a perfect curve, where you can play, you know, a little bit into them uh, into the north. Then you can eat the flux reservoir. It's just great. It is just absolutely great. And maybe you want to remove like two cabal strongholds. I'm gonna keep all of them because basics, uh, basic swamps are a thing that are kind of needed. Uh, I'm still kind of on the fritz. Maybe, just maybe, because it's cool, we could theoretically use uh, double snowlands instead of the triomes. But triomes do have the cycling, so... Mm, eh. Well, anyway, this was Quizzer Since Then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.